Hey guys! Hello! Hi! I don't know who's out there and who's going to join us, but we are wandering the streets of New Orleans. We're actually <laughs> shooting Property Brothers here. Uh, what? Well, not Property Brothers. Shooting Brothers Take New Orleans here. And uh, we wanted to look around for some inspiration at houses. We thought we'd bring you guys along. Yeah, the, a lot cool, of color. the cool thing is we get to work with color palettes here that you would never get away with anywhere else. And if you even look, even just looking down this street here, you can kind of see yeah. that one house will be bright yellow, yeah, bright green, you name it. Every color is completely different. Yeah, yeah, you can see each one of these houses is a little different. Actually, let's walk up the street. Let's walk over this way. Crossing. If you love personality, then you would love New Orleans. So, JD's with us too. This is actually what I love. Right. I'm going to get on this side so I'm not blocking Jonathan off. The whole family here? The whole gang. And we're, we're having a little bit of the same fun so, we typically do on Brother vs. Brother. This is funny because back in the day, this was our renovation company right yeah. here. The three of us, we would all renovate the houses, we'd fix them up, flip them, everything, you name it. This was how we did it right here. So it's nice to have you involved. And then one of them disappeared. Yeah, well one of them yeah. started handling all the paperwork. <laughs> and then one of them got smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. But uh, no, it's sort of a formula that 20 years later we're still doing. So in reality, we're actually still trying to figure out what we're going to paint the exterior of this home that we're doing. We're renovating this, uh, these two properties, Jonathan and me, but we're trying to figure out what we want for colors. We're not quite agreeing, so if we look, look pink, we have no. pink. Over here, we have a blue, light blue with a dark blue, which isn't that bad. Actually, look at the, to the right, the, the deep red. And nice. So this is a bit of a debate that Drew and I have. So if you look at the deep red, Drew really likes that color, which I, is very traditional and I, and I like that too. But if you go to the right of that, the green, I feel like the green is more like what I want to it's, do. It's not bad, but all you have there is you have the green house and then you have shutters. And I want a little bit more color. I want color in the shutters. I want color I in the house. I'm going to do the shutters more like teal. Hello. I'm going to cross the street so we get a little bit more sun off of our background because it's blowing us out a little bit. I like both ways are, are impressive. I can go with the feel of the city. Or you could even do something like this. This is just a, a brick facade on the outside. I think I, we could put a little more color on something so instead of this. Sound. With the flesh tone, so do I disappear? Not the I flesh tones. No, you you're you're a got? lot. You're a lot lighter flesh tone than that house. Uh, anyway, it's it's an important thing for us. We want to make sure we're paying tribute to New Orleans. But the thing too is when you're renovating here. You actually have to, let me get on the side of JD, you actually have to um, abide by certain, it's a historic home, so you have to abide by certain rules. Quick. We can't just go and do anything. What's the name of the organization that oversees historic HLC. rules? HLC. Oh, he's actually got it. Uh, yeah, oh. Drew's, Drew's made up like 600 interpretations of what the organization's called. What does HLC. it stand for? Exactly. So, the Historic <laughs> District Land Commission's Society, I don't know, something like that. But, uh, uh, so... Uh, inside the house, we've also had a lot of uh, struggles too because we're trying to, again, pay tribute to New Orleans, have a lot of traditional touches, but still have modern functionality. And this is like brother versus brother. Jonathan and I are each getting our own spaces to work with. And so, so who, what would you say your prime focus has been when you're not like working on the house and doing all that stuff? What's your prime focus? Picking up stuff? No. no. Annoying us. Oh, breaking us. So today, I, official role, I come man. into the trailer and all, I look at the wall and I'm like, what happened? There's like black tape on it. I'm like, did someone break the mirror or something? It's so weird. <laughs> he had rigged a horn so that when you open the door all the way, it's an air horn, yeah. yeah what are you, so. five? And then I, I was trying to get a reset for when Drew came in and I, I was like fumbling with the, the camera and he came in, so I, I was holding it like all Oh, J JD was like, yeah, he was holding like right. No one holds their cell phone <laughs> upright like this by their chest. I'm like, well, Wait, you're obviously. You came in too yeah, soon. This, this isn't. This isn't. That, that was what JD was doing. I was like, natural. something is going on. He's he's up to one of his his tricks or pranks. So, when we're walking down the street, we actually do notice a fair bit. You see, uh, that house in the corner really sort of run down on the siding. There are a lot of houses like this down here. The one we're working on was actually in worse shape than that. This house here is actually livable. The one that we're working on was not. They're the uh, balcony on the left. That's what, I love the detail. Maybe not the dead plants, but the details. No, but this is a, a gorgeous city. For anyone who has never been to New Orleans, I absolutely love it. W the big thing for me that I love is the character. You have good food, good people, great music. Yeah, Wait, well. stop! Stop. Oh, I'm, no. just, I'm just pointing it out. Yeah. He always says whatever he and says. And go. Where's the ghost sign? I'm like I Ron Burgundy. It. If it's there and it's written, I'll say it. I want to see. We have better lighting on our faces. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So much better on our faces. So, what else do we want to fill these guys in on? So, so actually, outside of housing, 
There's a lot of good things to do in New Orleans. Like we have gotten out to do some fun stuff. There's Bourbon Street. Let's like go and see Star Trek, yeah. the uh, new movie. Yeah, we, we did see Star Trek. Not down in New Orleans, on, but <laughs> on uh, Frenchman uh, Street, right? Street. Yeah, I think street. Good music. Down good there. music. Uh, I was at a place called DBA, which is really good. A lot of uh, blues, a lot of jazz, a lot of good old sound. I yeah. So I was down at a place uh, as well, listening to some music, and they had. And you can tell me if you think this is a good idea or a bad idea. They had <clears throat> like free food for people who came to the bar, and I was there for probably Sounds two like hours. Sounds a good idea. This had, the food had been sitting out for probably oh, about thanks. four hours, and <laughs> it was a seafood good. jambalaya. A that seafood, sounds like a bad idea. That sounds like food poisoning. Waiting sounds to like happen. it's gonna haunt you the next day. I don't yeah. want, no seafood jambalaya. No, I would I would only eat that if it was fresh out. I went to a cool place yesterday. It was the sculpture gardens in town here. Oh, okay. very cool. Great art. And so was that? It was an outdoor thing, or yeah. is it indoor? Yeah, it's a garden. I think, uh, like typical gardens outside. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's why we don't let Drew talk very often. I don't do good. Listen, uh, the the big thing. I just wanted to talk, not not him. Uh, the big thing here I love are the the graveyards. Oh, All they have these yeah. old old graveyards everywhere you go. Right by um, it's Central Park or City Park. I think it's called City Park. There are all these uh, graveyards around there too, and you go in. And in amongst these super old tombs, you have, you have tombs, and it's all tombs. There are no gravestones, it's all tombs. Mm -hmm. Because um, a few feet below the ground here, you have active sort of like sledge water. Well, your water table. Yeah, water, yeah, your water table. And so basically, if you bury a body in a graveyard, it'll come up through the ground, which is creepy. Sometimes it'll move as well. It'll come up in a different location. Yeah. yeah. So they have the tombs. But you, so you, go, creepy, you go into the old uh, graveyards and see the tombs. And right in the middle of the oldest graveyard, it's one of the oldest in the country, I think, uh, there's a giant white pyramid, and that's Nicolas Cage's tomb. Yeah, Nicholas Cage has a tomb. It's yeah. weird. Like I, yeah. I don't know how I feel about the whole tomb there. I'm like, I don't necessarily want to creep people out afterward. I, you know, I'll be I, sprinkled in the cool. ocean or something. I, yeah. I had suggested at one point that we get a family tomb. Mm -hmm. Why don't we mm -hmm. taxidermy you? Sure. That's weird. <laughs> it got weird. All right, moving right along, talking a little bit more in New Orleans. So we've done the music. We've done all kinds of stuff like that. Met a lot of great people. Um, what else is going on here? There's just there's so much opportunity. So this that's why a lot of people have said that they've moved here because there's a lot of opportunity to fix up a house. Oh, whoa, whoa! Huge opportunity for my ping pong lessons. Oh god! I found an amazing ping pong so coach. So Drew here. has been here a week. <laughs> he a already week. has a mentor. Yeah, ping yeah. pong mentor. Yeah. He also I caught in his room. He has a putting green that he takes with him. I have to improve my game. It's important for me to improve my game. That's something that I really want to do. Uh, no, i got to golf anywhere I go. Hitting the gym, too. Actually, it's been pretty good. There's a huge sports facility down by the water. So I have basketball, golf. That's where I do my ping pong oh, and everything else. Out. Oh, yeah, J.D. and I have been hitting the gym you, as well. Are you going to come? Gonna start, start, to what? Yeah. start working out? Start working out with us? The gym? I work out all day. Check these babies out. See you. Woo, woo. you going to the beach? Anybody like Jonathan's... Yeah. Biceps there showing off for camera. It's a gun show. By the way, anybody who isn't following us, Mr. JD Scott on all social platforms, yeah. Mr. Silver Scott, Silver Jonathan's middle name, Mr. Drew Scott, get over to our pages and follow us. A answer some questions. And share this. Share this on your, uh, your Facebook profiles if you guys want to see more chats. What are we doing in New Orleans? We are renovating a house. This is for a series called Brothers Take New Orleans. And we're actually renovating this house. Uh, this woman has been out of her house. It, uh, it's been devastated and she's been out of it for over 10 years. What's so, the name of the show? Brothers, Brothers Take New Orleans. Is it just me or does Drew say New Orleans funny? I know. New Orleans? No, I say New Orleans. Jonathan says it like a guy from Canada. New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. I, yeah. I could have given you a boost over the fence. <laughs> People are jumping fences. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> We, uh, yeah, actually, it's been a lot of, uh, with our, you know, looking for inspiration, wandering through the streets. We've let a lot of, met a lot of people here, and it's actually quite funny how welcoming everybody is. Jonathan actually just went into somebody's house. They're like, oh, come look at my dining space. Yeah. Come look at my living room. I randomly stroll into people's houses. Who, who yeah. expects that? You know, they're just sweeping out the front. And... Oh, there's knock, knock. Books. Actually, I don't even usually knock. Hey, I'm going to hand this yeah. over. My arm's here. getting tired. Yeah, here, read a question. Let's get some questions. Hold on a sec here. I'm trying to read. All right, we're going to read I'm some gonna, questions. I'm going to get in. I'm going to read. <laughs> uh, we are we are not. Uh, let's see. JD is Down cute. Did it, did it? That's not a question. That's a statement. JD is cute. Uh, you got to go to Jackson Square. Yeah, Very so cool. Jackson, Jackson Square, Square is awesome. Cafe du Monde. The, you have the church down there, you have mm -hmm. all the artists, you yeah. have musicians down there, and it's close to the water as well. You also have a lot of cool tours in, in town. Uh, I've done a ghost tour and a graveyard tour. Before. There's also there's a vampire yeah, I haven't done that club one yet. tour if figured, you're a vampire. I figured JD was going to be hanging out at the vampire club. I have already been to the vampire club. <laughs> so Lori says, uh, welcome to the south. Is it hot enough for you? So we're from Vegas, so we're used to heat. I mean, it's well, been like 110 or 115, but the humidity. the humidity kills it. Yeah. So. 
if we're in Vegas and it's like 115 degrees, that's like the equivalent of like 100 or maybe even 95 here with the humidity. So it's either crazy. right where we're standing, there's a cracked sewer line, or you guys. Yeah, we should keep moving. Yeah, I think, I think it's the sewer line. <laughs> so interesting fact too, when we were taking one of the tours the other day, we passed by this, what would you say that thing is? It's not a monastery, but it's like, uh, they have nuns and priests there and whatnot. And oh, monastery. It's not a monastery though, but anyway, it's this building. It's an impressive looking building, uh, but it's, they say it's haunted. But in addition to being haunted, there's this strange third story. So there's the main big windows on the main floor. There's the second story. And then it looks like attic with dormers. And for some reason, all of the shutters on the attic are closed. And, and whenever there's a storm, if any of the shutters are damaged, they send a priest to repair it from the Vatican. <laughs> yeah. It is not, no one here is allowed to go near those windows or see what's inside. Yeah. In this building, that's, that's on, weird. On the lower level, it's something to do with, uh, we're, we're dodging trees here. Uh, it's something to do with like a, there's a Catholic church museum or something on that lower level. Yeah. And so is, there's is, a lot of mystery. Is there a Vatican reno, like contractors? Well, apparently, you know, like it, there's people that do absolutely everything at the Vatican. So the, their the tool belt has rosary handy, beads in it. Priests can do renovations, they can do all kinds of stuff. But anyway, that was one of the tours that we took. It was very interesting fact yeah. and very creepy. There you I go. haven't been in that museum though, I would love to do Jonathan, that. Jonathan, I will be truly impressed when you can put that on your resume. I'm, I'm working on it. Vatican contractor. One yeah. thing actually that I love too, a lot of people have uh, music on their bikes when you go by, like full boom boxes. I love yeah. it. A lot of, uh, a lot of character when you're uh, when you're driving down you get some good beats when you're walking along or when we're renovating and somebody goes by with their bicycle and this is a city with a lot of soul like there's just so much going on yeah. all the time yeah. but i think yeah. it's a good chance for us to step away and uh, we will be doing a lot more chats good good hey guys well i want to say bye guys all the best i hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the country and we will talk to you again soon we want to do more live chats all right bye say bye, bye. say bye bye